please start with her presentation. Uh, could, could we please have some silence? I request all the delegates to kindly settle down so that we can resume our session. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back after the delicious lunch. As it uh, has been said this morning that uh, other countries maybe can learn from the experience India has with homeopathy. I think that what we in Europe can learn uh, also from India is the time we have to spend for lunch. It's enough. And the quality of the food. We can learn a lot uh, from India to uh, have our um, usual afternoon breaks. So I enjoyed the food. I hope that you are still curious uh, to hear the final presentations on the regulatory perspective and then uh, with the uh, contribution of Dr. Manchinda, Manchanda, we uh, uh, cross uh, the line and go uh, global and go to India. I have some uh, sad news. I have been informed that the uh, virtues of the internet do not allow to get into a, a contact with the European pharmacopoeia, which is really regret regrettable uh, because the European pharmacopoeia is uh, rather active in the field of uh, homeopathy and the quality of homeopathic um, uh, substances. But the benefit we have is that we can uh, gain some time and get uh, into the, um, the afternoon program. I want to introduce my French colleague, Dr. Anne Anlay is uh, head of the section at the French Regulatory Agency for Medicines, the ANSEM, uh, responsible for the assessment of homeopathic and herbal medicinal products. And France is the second European country which has a long and respective tradition uh, with homeopathy and homeopathic medicines. Please, Anne, you have the floor. Thank you, Emile. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a challenge also today to make a presentation after the lunch, but for a regulatory, it's also uh, interesting. I would like, first of all, uh, thank you very much, the authority, Indian authority, and especially the Dr. Man Man Manchana, sorry, for inviting me uh, to present the French experience uh, here in this global forum that is started very uh, in, terms the, um, in a way very interesting. Um, I would, I would uh, then uh, introduce you in uh, my agency uh, to show you the challenge, um, uh, no, not, not the, really the challenge, but the spirit of uh, the way we are working now. Uh, the French National Agency for Medicines and Health Product Safety Organization uh, has been changed uh, following a new law in 2011, uh, strengthening on uh, the health safety of medicine and health products and dedicated to patients. The objective of our agency uh, is uh, to approach our work from different perspectives to ensure efficiency and reactivity in the monitoring of health based on different principles, um, internal assessment capacity, uh, dealing with products, divisions, methods, resources, and also mobilization of external expertise, and uh, of course, if necessary, using an integrated benefit-risk approach. Uh, this organization is a so-called matrix organization with interaction between products divisions, operating divisions, cross-disciplinary and resources divisions. Of course, the decision-making chain is, a stream, is organized at a streamline and uh, um, this organization needs uh, information sharing, uh, focus on transparency and ethical control on all levels of the inquiry process. We worked on priority projects to work, uh, place efficiency and improving working condition. So this is our organization chart. You can see on the right the product division dedicated on uh, therapeutic activities and operating divisions uh, dealing with legal and regulatory 
regulatory evaluation, surveillance division, inspectorate, and laboratories. So we are part, uh, my department is part of the generic division, the, the fifth one. Um, so we also have the input of the policy of the generics. So back to homeopathic now. Uh, we, as you know, we have a long tradition uh, on homeopathic use. Um, Dr. Hanman uh, um, had a French experience with uh, marrying a French young marquise at the end of his life. He moved to France. He lived in France, he practiced in France, was happy until he died. So he also convinced a group of uh, physicians to, to, to or he, 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 not convinced, but he, 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 con yeah, he convinced a group to, 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 to use or practice the homeopathic medicine, and this is why it is now still uh, in the favor of homeopathic uh, use. The practitioners in France is a, is a huge community. The homeopathic medicinal products uh, has an official status since uh, 1949, I've, I've, I've seen in uh, some uh, papers, and, but the majority of this has been authorized by a visa procedure in 1965. Also, the homeopathic salts were standardized and published in the French Pharmacopoeia since uh, the early 1983, but the major block were uh, published in uh, 1989. Around 5,000 generalist practitioners, and among them 1,030 acupuncturists that are specialized in homeopathy. And in France, only the physicians that are diploma from a medical do medicinal doctor university are authorized to practice. Homeopathic registered medicinal products are reimbursed up to the level of 30% by the social security, as well as some magistral preparation uh, following a specific regulation on reimbursement for all preparations. As a general context, more than 30% of the population in France declared to use homeopathic medicinal products via consultation or via self-medication. And also more than 32% of generalist practitioners prescribe homeopathic medicinal products in France. And uh, the survey showed that all 50% of generalists also had once in their life prescribed a homeopathic product. What is interesting uh, to see that uh, homeopathic consultation are accessible within public hospital now in France uh, as complementary medicines and some survey had done within the hospital, uh, public hospital. This is a, a very interesting uh, point as the, some uh, reluctant physician within the hospital and public hospital accepted also to have in their services uh, some some uh, some consultation homeopathic consultation dedicated to specific services like oncology neurology and so on so now regal regulatory aspect um, we are like germany under the european regulation so the regula european regulation is strictly transposed in the french law in le code de la santé publique for homeopathic medicinal products. It means that we also, but uh, Werner uh, explained already, the simplified registration following the directives for stocks, but also for complex that are so-called traditional complex. And we also have marketing authorization and uh, following the, the, direct, the article 16 of the directive. For simplified registration, uh, only uh, the oral or external administration is allowed. There is no therapeutic indication on the labeling and no labeling. Uh, those simply products are subject to prescription or are automedicated by patient. Oh. Marketing authorization are for us dedicated, for example, for mother tincture, for specific private formula or, or patented formulas covered by the marketing authorization and protected by the marketing authorization. 
some different uh, dosage form like injectable formulas also. This marketing authorization is close to the other marketing authorization for medicinal products with a complete SPC with indication, posology, precaution of use, and of course fulfill the requirement of the common technical document format appropriate for homeopathic medicinal products. We also have a regulation on preparation in France that are dedicated to all the preparation with chemicals, with biologicals, and with homeopathic uh, stocks. We can, ha um, the, the legislation uh, describe the magistral preparation, which are extemporaneous preparation based and uh, starting to be prepared by a prescription and only for one patient, nominated prescription. We also have official preparation that are preparation that are prepared in advance without any prescription uh, delivered by our retail pharmacies and which uh, the, the restrictive is the formula has to be published in the national formulary. We also have a specific and national uh, dedicated preparation that are hospital preparation, only prepared by hospital pharmacists, prepared in advance, but based on the prescription for several patients, but the prescription is for one patient. Uh, without market, when uh, the preparation is done, when the, the marketing or the specialities are not available on the market, are not adapted with the the adaptation of uh, dosage form or, or indication or dosage. The, those hospital preparation are subject to declaration to NASM and then the authority can uh, just check on the interest of the hospital preparation and considering the indication. So for homeopathic use, only magistral preparation are concerned because officinal preparation there at the moment are no in the French pharmacopoeia formula published for homeopathic and hospital preparation, we haven't seen any declaration from a hospital uh, pharmacist. The preparation should comply and have to, must comply the good manufacturing practices for preparation that are enforced since 2007 in France. And uh, the retail pharmacy and, uh, hospital, and hospital pharmacies are concerned. But the good manufacturing practice for preparation uh, allow the subcontraction. So to be sub they are allowed to be sub subcontracted. So there is a specificity in the French law for subcontracting preparation for homeopathic use. And it is written in the law that a retail pharmacy may contract out the execution of a preparation to a GMP pharmaceutical company authorized to manufacture medicine by the NSM, by our agency. Which uh, extemporaneous, uh, the, this law also focused on homeopathic uh, preparation that are obtained by homeopathic stocks and prepare, that are prepared according to a homeopathic manufacturing process relying on the European uh, regulation. But the written subcontracting uh, have to be established in accordance with the good preparation practices. So it's a bit complex, but just to rely on uh, the, the major regulation is on the preparations, and all, uh, but authorize GMP uh, subcontracting with the, with the GMP pharmaceutical industry. The present situation in France is uh, as such since 2001, May application of the European regulation. We started an up-to-date uh, of all the dossiers that, that uh, was uh, dedicated to the product in France. And um, all the homeopathic and medicinal products authorized and marketed before the January the 1994. Uh, must apply to a marketing authorization or a registration. So at the moment, uh, in 2007, we have reassessed completely 603 registration and 206 marketing and authorization of homeopathic products um, and granted based on the up-to-date dossier. But of course, 
all the other products are on the market and more than 300 stocks are available on the market. Uh, focusing on new marketing authorization dossier, we only have received 10 new marketing authorization and that have been granted be between uh, 2012 and 2016. All the updated dossiers are um, visible on the public database on all medicines authorized in France, although you have the link there. Uh, still on the market, as I said, uh, are homeopathic medicinal subject to national authorization via the old visa procedure that are under reassessing, uh, reassessment, and also the official 1,163 stocks that have been recognized in 1984 for practitioners and are also subject for, to registrations. So what were, what are the specific requirements for the dossier for homeopathic medicinal products? Of course, safety, uh, complete module four based on non-clinical ICH M3 R2 um, on, on the, 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 the data are required and also we follow the HMPWDU uh, guidelines focused on, on the homeopathic uh, topic. Of course, the quality uh, have to be um, to be completed in the module three of the dossier by the specific requirement. The justification of the homeopathic use also by bibliographic data has to be provided. We um, uh, we have uh, homeopathic uh, pharmaceutical industry that have to comply to GMP and that are subject to inspectorate based on annual programs, not. They are not inspectorate every, every year, but the program has been, are made by inspectorate division by an annual uh, program. Concerning the safety module three, of course the first safe dilution as uh, Werner explained is mainly based on non-clinical data and uh, are in the dossier based on the bibliographic uh, origin. In 2007, for example, we request to increase the FSD as for Chelidonium major stocks from 4DH to 7DH because of pharmacodivigent reason on herbals, and we adapted uh, the limit and, 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 and the dilution um, in this case. We also have reassessed the heavy metal, so-called heavy metal stocks like arsenic, mercury, chromium, antimonium, based on the revision of the guideline ICH340, coming in force in January 2017, and asked the, the company to comply with the, the right level of dilution we have assessed. This um, uh, scientific assessment has, is also discussed within the group of HMPWG. We also worked on doctrine on pregnancy and lactation adapted for homeopathic medicinal products. For the quality, the general requirement of medicinal product should apply except for the assay of the active substance when in kind of high dilution of the finished product. The we focused on identification of the IT substance if it's not published on the pharmacopoeia, dealing with identification characters, some uh, impurities, a specific uh, essay. We focus on, on the quality and sources of the starting material with traceability, the control of impurity, pesticide, heavy metal. How can you rely on um, uh, certification for organic products when we don't know the, 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 the requirements in different uh, countries? So it's important to stick with the test of pesticide, for example, uh, depending on the good manufacturing practices of the, of the sources of the herbals, for, as, as an example. For biological pro stocks, we also uh, deal with the viral safety and all the, the microbiologic, classical microbiologic contaminations. The key point is also the stability. We have, um, we ask for an, an essay using an appropriate tracers uh, to demonstrate the stability of the mother tincture uh, before the dilution uh, and to focus on the shelf life of the mother tincture. It is defined considering the data provided by the companies, but not only based on the toxic tracer. 
this is the, the specificity uh, we have. And also for marketing authorization, for example, we allow different uh, shelf life for different uh, stocks of, of, of uh, formulae. We worked on a notice to applicant for module three, which is ready to publish on the NSM website and has been, uh, has been uh, uh, provided to HMP WG's uh, subgroup. Concerning the um, efficacy, uh, we ask for um, bibliographical data like Materia Medica, and we also reassess particular cases on that are mother tinctures as homeopathic medicinal product, asking the companies to justify the homeopathic use uh, and the specificity of homeopathy when it's the mother tincture. For marketing authorization also, we ask for appropriate justification of the indication when it's used in pediatrics and focused on the category of ages for the population dealing with the tradition or dealing with statistic data. Of course, we would like to have proving in the dossier um, um, more uh, appropriate for, for all the difference uh, we, 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 we have to deal with the dossier. So that was the, the activity we have uh, de dealt. Uh, now concerning the opportunities, uh, and we are here to discuss, share experience and, and and uh, learn from each other. Uh, we would like really strongly work share with other member states first to save resources of assessment and also to define clear requirements for the applicants. What are required uh, and how we do we agree on all these requirements. Of course, on, on safety, a common European agreement of a huge FSD list would be of uh, real interest. And also, it's up to the companies to work together and provide a common, common scientific specification, maybe. Uh, common a, a European agreement on hermetic list of new stocks. Um, uh, 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 no, sorry, a common European agreement uh, on a homeopathic use list uh, that are not already assessed could be also of interest, and a list of homeopathic use that are largely recognized uh, are, are, are on the work, but are very interesting to share. We... We, the opportunity would be also to draft policy for pregnancy and lactation in marketing authorization because we are in the field of uh, medicinal products and uh, for all others medicinal products without any data, um, some information is, are written in the SPC, in the labeling, and the condition of use are dealing with the data. So it's for transparency. It's very interesting when the stock is not so so much diluted to have the, the correct information for for prescriptioners and for patients. It's also interesting to define a policy for pediatrics uh, in marketing authorization also because we need information. Uh, it could be interesting to develop new reference by new clinical publication or to have a bibliographical but updated materia medica, not dealing only with very old papers. Uh, it could be also very interesting to develop communication and information to patients, but also to health uh, care professionals on how to use uh, homeopathic medicinal uh, uh, pr products, uh, for example, at, at OTC. So now the challenge, major challenge, um, we have as authority to guarantee quality and safety for homeopathic medicinal products, and that's what we are dealing with, especially in France, where the cause uh, has to be uh, focused on, on, on quality and safety um, because the efficacy is not up to, to be demonstrated in the dossier. We also focus on not to, to have a no loss of change for patients with acute pathology or in prevention in case of conventional treatment, not to be in opposition with traditional physicians, but 
to be used as complementary and supportive medicines um, and to be clear on what uh, the physicians and the, the, the patient have to deal with. Um, uh, we, we work uh, within the uh, drug uh, medicinal product agency and we have to deal with specific po policy on prevention, for example. So we have to deal that uh, the homeopathic products are not so-called vaccines as the definition of vaccines. We have to deal with that uh, the demonstration of indication are not being demonstrated in, in acute pathology or have been, but we have not the information yet. Uh, and, and following the, the, the general requirement for efficacy. So this is important and interesting to have uh, this approach of complementary and supportive medicines demonstrated the interest of the, the, common, the common approach. We also, the challenge also would be the prioritization or assessment based on the risk. The risk can be, have to be shared and, 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 and deal and dealt and deal. And uh, also it would be interesting to share pharmacovigilance studies within European and, and within the world. Uh, of course, new dossier and mutual recognition for registration procedure in Europe and, uh, and the full, uh, full number of dossiers would be of interest for all the member states and of course uh, for having a, a common approach on assessment and on, on writing. And we are waiting, of course, innovative formulas, new indication, new patient profiles, new clinical trials, methodology, or have uh, comparative groups uh, with or without homeopathy to, to deal with. Uh, and we, are, we will be very happy to assess and to, to, promote, the, 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 to promote this. So all the information on homeopathics are on the website ansm.santé.fr. Uh, so we can, you can check all the information we provide. Uh, of course, you are welcome in Paris, all of us who want to visit uh, and see this, this um, the, the, as a pilgrimage <laughs> somewhere. And of course, if you have any question, uh, do not hesitate to contact me directly. So I know have just uh, as a warning, I have found no uh, link of interest in neither my relatives in this field. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Anley. This is, uh, gives you uh, another uh, perspective uh, on the way we are dealing in the European Union in different uh, member states with the uh, regulation of homeopathic medicinal products. As I said to you, I have to apologize the contribution of uh, Ms. Cathy Vey from the European Department of the Quality of Medicine, uh, which is uh, in a way regrettable because the European Pharmacopoeia which uh, extends the number of countries which actually are a member of the European Union. Switzerland is uh, also participating and others uh, are more and more involved uh, in setting standards for homeopathic uh, materials, uh, homeopathic stocks, and not at least in uh, a common description of homeopathic manufacturing methods used for the production of homeopathic medicines. But maybe in another, another time the European uh, Pharmacopoeia can explain in detail uh, what they are doing. Now I think it is time to leave Europe and go to India. And I want to uh, ask your uh, special attention for Dr. Raj Manchanda. He is uh, di Director General of the Central Council for Research on Homeopathy, and he will give us uh, his view on the regulatory affairs in India and future perspectives. Dr. Manchanda, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Emu. Okay. 
I'll be just giving overview of current regulatory affairs in India and our, what are our future prospects. As we know India, we are li listening about Europe, India is already a, already a 32 states with different cultures and so many different languages and our strength is unity and diversity. And uh, 